Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about how the brain develops, how it matures, how we use all these different reflexes um, to get the brain to actually develop. So it, it, from the beginning to where we are now. So when we're born, we are born with a set of reflexes. These reflexes are called primitive reflexes. Um, we're born with them because they serve a very valuable purpose. The, uh, they actually help to stimulate our cortex, our higher brain centers, to start to develop our brain. So a perfect example of this is, if you think about when you, you have an infant and they're laying there and you stick your finger in their hand, they grasp down on it. That's called a palmer grasp reflex. Purpose of it is, and we'll, you'll learn a lot more about this as we go, but purpose of it is you stick your finger in the hand, they fire the muscle in their hand, they grasp down, they grasp down, and they fire all those muscles. As you fire muscles, that fires up into your brain. Then what happens is we start activating the brain, it starts maturing and growing, and then once those areas of the brain get mature, because that reflexes help to stimulate that growth, the, the brain comes in and shuts those reflexes down. And there's a lot of these reflexes called primitive reflexes. There's ones on the bottom of your feet that we're gonna learn about. There's ones that help us to learn to turn our head and, and, uh, and use our arms and hands appropriately together called an asymmetrical tonic neck reflex that we're gonna learn about. But simply put and think of it as all of these reflexes are housed in the brain stem here or in those lower brain areas. Once, um, and that's why when we're born, really this area of your brain, this brain stem area is really the only area that's actually efficiently developed and, 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 um, and kind of fully developed because that's also where like your heart rate areas are, your respiratory rate, your breathing rate is. And I, and I, should, I guess I shouldn't say it's fully developed because as it continues to mature, that's why you see heart rate start to go down as an infant grows and their respiratory rate starts to go down because when they're born, those things are really high. Um, but then once we start, the, the child starts to move and starts to roll and um, starts to get up, you know, army crawl and get on their hands and knees, what you're starting to see is their cerebellum is starting to develop. Your cerebellum um, helps you coordinate your movements, helps you coordinate your thoughts, um, and, and also coordinate your balance center. So that's why like army crawling and crawling and rolling and all those things are really important before a child starts to uh, walk because those things help to develop our core musculature and it also helps to develop our cerebellum so that we can stand up and walk efficiently and it coordinates, your cerebellum also coordinates your balance center. So as we go upright and we start to stand, we start activating our balance centers or what is called our vestibular system that's inside of our ears. Your vestibular system is coordinated in these lower brain areas. Those, uh, and, and also your eye tracking system start getting added on top of that. So you know, you're standing up walking, you're moving your eyes, all that type of stuff is coordinated in your lower brain centers. But what happens is as those systems start to develop, now we have the musculature of your body, we have your balance centers, we have your eye tracking centers all firing up into your brain to help it to develop and help it to start to mature and grow. As it matures and grows, then what happens is these back areas start developing more and this is where you start understanding like speech that in also these frontal areas start to develop that's why you can start producing speech so that's why right around a year maybe slightly after kids start to talk a whole bunch right after they start to walk is because as we those systems start getting fired up at a high rate because we go against gravity all of these higher brain centers start to develop and get mature and start to grow then once these frontal areas really start to get mature, that's when we start creating impulse control. That's when we start creating the ability to have a good um, uh, communication with other people or um, you know, be able to understand what other people are saying and respond appropriately, uh, be able to calm down our behaviors and whatnot. But really as this frontal lobe gets nice and developed, that's what comes down and shuts down all your primitive reflexes as well. So you can see during the normal trajectory of hitting your milestones appropriately, um, developing your balance centers appropriately, developing your eye tracking centers appropriately, that is the neurological foundation that most kids are missing that's not allowing their higher brain centers to develop and function appropriately. So the goal of this program is really to help you to assess all of these systems. I'm going to teach you how to assess um, do they still have primitive reflexes or lower brainstem, or, or sorry, brainstem uh, dysfunctions? Do they have facial asymmetries that plays into your brainstem? Uh, 
Do they have coordination issues coming from their cerebellum? Is it on one side or another? Do they, um, their occipital lobe, how is that functioning? Can they, you know, does it, how's their peripheral vision on both sides? Do they have clarity the same on both sides? I'm gonna show you how to look at those things and find those imbalances, those asymmetries. Their parietal lobe, do they feel their body on one side the same as they do the opposite side? A lot of kids have deficits on one side because uh, like let's say their right side they don't feel as well as their left because their left parietal lobe isn't firing as efficiently or developed as well. And we get into the frontal lobe and there's different tests for the frontal lobe to see is there one side weaker than the other one. And what we'll do to actually get rid of these reflexes and what we'll find in a lot of these kids is we'll find that maybe the whole right side of their brain, the right cortex is less developed than the left or vice versa. And then I give you guys specific stimul uh, activities to stimulate those areas of the brain while we're working on that normal trajectory development, while we're working on getting rid of their primitive reflexes, while we're working on developing their balance centers, developing their eye tracking centers, and creating that foundation for their brain to actually function off of. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. To learn more or to schedule an intensive or anything with my team, there's a link below. Just go ahead and click that and that'll get you to the right spot. Have an awesome day.